Hey guys, Stife here, bringing you my first ever Black Ops 2 commentary. Uh, I'm playing on the it's the Nuke Town the 24/7 Nuke Town Mosh Pit playlist that is on PC. Uh, well, obviously I'm pay playing PC. Uh, I had to wait until three o'clock to be able to um, decrypt the game files, so yeah, it took me a little while to do. I had to do that for all three games plus download an updated multiplayer version. So. Yeah, it all I did it, it did it, and well, I'm playing. Um, this game is like I said, it's at 3:30 a.m., so it's not necessarily one of my better games, but it's still a really good game for my first time ever touching this game. I like it. I, I've been playing it, you know, kind of constantly. I have right here. I've got the UAV kill streak. I couldn't figure out how to use it. I was kind of freaking out, so I went through my menu and opened it. I had to open up my actual menu and look at it, because I never looked at the keybinds. I assumed it was default, like 4, or something like that. I don't even know what I was thinking for keybinds, but I, I've slowly figured them out. Um, I don't know. I like the default Scorpion class. It's really nice. It's got, you know, manageable recoil, high fire rate, decent range, not great. Damage is okay, I guess. But, yeah. So, I'm just going. I went up, loaded up the game, joined in the Mosh Pit Nuketown playlist, and ranked up. I played for a little while last night till like 5 a.m., and then I ended up going to sleep because I realized I had to go to work the next morning. I was brainy. And I'm making this commentary. I still haven't slept yet since, you know, I, I slept from like 5 until 7. So, I, I still haven't slept yet. I had to pick up. Another couple of hours of overtime, but, you know, other than that, it's all good. Some of the things I have to say about the game, it's it's really nice. I mean, the sound of it is really nice, but at the same time, you can't really hear footsteps. It, like, the sound whoring seems like it's a no-no, or it's kind of hard to do unless you have awareness, but I, I don't know. I've heard that it it's really goofy to sound whore, all this stuff. I'm I'm not sure. I I'm hoping that things aren't all stupid. Things like that right there. On my end of the screen you saw, I was the whole way back there, but they weren't even shooting where I was. I I, I was watching the kill cam to see what happened. They weren't even shooting where I was. They they were still shooting at the bottom right corner on my side or bottom left on their side of the window and it you know, still counted as hits. So the hit boxes in this game are it, extremely generous. Either that or it's lag compensation. Don't mean I don't mean to complain about it, but that's what it seems like to me. But I mean my first impressions of the game, it's enjoyable. The score streak thing seems really nice. I like that I can get, you know, my other kill streaks with assistance from my UAV assists. Things like that. I mean I I like to run the low kill streaks. I I don't like the higher kill streaks cuz I mean Score streaks, whatever you want to call them. It's just a pain for me to, you know, get close to it and then die. It has got to be the most aggravating thing. I, I prefer the UAV, the Hunter drone, and the maybe care package or that one missile strike thing where you, like, you pick the three points where they drop the bombs. I don't know, those are my three favorites so far. I mean, the drone is really nice. I lost the care package just a little while ago to because I got baited by a teammate. Um, he blocked me in the doorway and I couldn't move to get inside. And I couldn't get my care package because I was running from a nade and I was going to go out and grab it. But yeah, that's, you know, player collision doesn't seem like it's a big problem anymore either. Like Modern Warfare 3 where you're bouncing off players it seems like. Sniping is a big di different animal. I, I enjoy sniping. It's at a completely different feel, but I enjoy it. It feels like it's in between Black Ops 1 and Modern, War or Modern Warfare 2 and 3 for quick scoping. Like, if you try, it's you still have to kind of drag scope, but regardless, it's pretty easy to do. I I'm going to play this game out. I've, I also figured out that I can live stream and not lag my PC at all. While playing, I I do not I do not lag like I do when I live stream Modern Warfare 3. So I am highly pleased with the optimization that, like the the quality of optimization for the multiplayer engine that they've done.
Just for the sheer fact that, you know, it, it's... Oh, that was smart of me. <laughs> Just for the sheer fact that, you know, it's optimized. It, it, the dedicated server mixed with uh, matchmaking seems like it's working out really well. All of this seems like it's working out really well, but then again, it's still day one. They still have to probably put out some fixes, etc. They've got a, they've got obvious work to do, but, I mean, give it time, and we'll see how it goes. I'll make sure that I try to tweet out whenever I live stream. Um, I'll try to do that tonight, actually. I will definitely be sure to live stream tonight for you guys before I go to work. Um, I might not have to go to work tonight. I'm not sure. But, that being said, I will see you guys later. Um, I will have a weekly series with uh, weapon analysis, etc., coming out, and yeah, hope you have, guys have a nice day. Peace.